Magus, the world of Magus is a fantasy universe. Um, but what, you know, we didn't want to do for Magus was do kind of the normal thing with orcs and elves and, you know, dwarves and things like that. You know, we, we want to do something original. So with Magus, what we did was we came up with you know, kind of a world that is mainly occupied by humans. And, you know, we kind of based it in a lot of ways on what we would think about the real world being, you know. So, for example, if somebody all of a sudden in, you know, 2013 Tokyo, Japan, all of a sudden had magical abilities, you, you know, people would be like, holy crap, you know, who, who is this guy? You know, you would kind of think, okay, are these guys with, do they have godlike powers, you know, are they gods, are they angels, you know, what are they, you know, and uh, part of that too, I, I think, you know, you look at some of the Marvel movies and things like that and see where these superheroes come out and all of a sudden, you know, it's a whole new universe. And so, in a lot of ways, Magus kind of draws inspiration from some of, some of those places. Um, and so, within the world of Magus, Basically, only the gods have the ability to use magic. And so, once you discover that you have the ability to use magic, then, you know, people worship you as a god. But where Magus himself is, they've kind of fallen out of the old ways. You know, they, they don't really believe in the gods. They don't even know if they exist. You know, they think those are just old you know, legends, things that might never really happened. And uh, so that's kind of where we find ourselves at the beginning of the game and, and in the story. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs>